What I concentrated on within the sort of the realm of public policy was looking at nonprofit organizations and in particular how they could serve urban areas and areas where there's extreme poverty, which um, not surprisingly has served me very well in what I do now. Last year we distributed just over 31 million pounds of food to these agencies. We have a total of 560 agencies and that food was enough to provide 23 million meals for hungry people in Chicago. It's been amazing. I've been here now for three years and started as Director of Individual Giving and I'm now the Director of Development and I can't imagine doing anything else. And I'm uh, amazed at how all of those skills that I've accumulated, and in particular, the skills with that from my public policy background come into play every day in what I do at the Food Depository. The skills range everything from the quantitative and analytical skills. Every day we have to think about the fact that there are 200 to 300,000 hungry people in the city of Chicago who need emergency food. And my job is to make sure that we have the resources to provide that need. We serve what we call member agencies. We have 560 soup kitchens, food pantries, homeless shelters, substance abuse facilities, retirement care and daycare centers that we provide food to. If there's an agency that has a budget of $10,000, in all likelihood the Greater Chicago Food Depository could give $10,000 to that agency. But is that really what's going to make that agency strong? That's really policy analysis in a lot of ways. We could take one action that would be very direct, but the consequences may be that that organization in three years would be nowhere. They haven't developed their own means for attaining funding. So we're always trying to think long term and very strategically about the impact of our actions. And that's something that comes directly out of my work um, in public policy. When I think about what I do raising money from individuals and, and people from foundations and I think about the conversations that I have with these people, I never talk to them about fundraising. Um, I talk to them about books, I talk to them about the theater, I talk to them about um, what's going on in our political process or what's going on on the front page of the newspaper and I think that when I am able to connect with people as a human being, they feel good about the idea of giving to an organization.